Okay, so competition day. Just been on the range, warmed up, hit some shots. But I'll tell you, the range was quite an intimidating experience. There's some seriously good players down there. The guy next to me had a Ryder Cup t-shirt on. I mean, I kind of recognise him, but you know whether he played in the Ryder Cup or not, I don't know. But yeah, uh, the standard is really high, unsurprisingly. Uh, it took me a while just to settle down on the rain, so. But towards the end, I started to hit some nice shots. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be nervous on the first tee. I just need to make sure I just slow down and just stick to the process. And then just try and get off to a good start. But uh, a great experience, but, you know, it is quite intimidating having not been here for a long time. two guys I was playing with, Len Matisse, you know, like I said, came second in the Masters, and Scott Henderson, when I met him, I then realized who he was, and he's a top player. So they both shot two under, and it's like, they've got a great chance of both getting in. But I've got to say that when I got on the first tee, and they introduced themselves to me, I just had a massive bit of imposter syndrome uh, in hindsight, I would have liked to have probably have been in a group, you know, with two people who I just didn't know. Uh, and they both teed off before me and they both hit good shots and there was a big crowd watching and I was just so nervous on the first tee and then, you know, bogeyed the first and then, you know, just got off to a bit of an iffy start and then lost, just lost my confidence. You know, I was feeling the pressure, I think, because of the two people I was playing with and you know, I just I just lost my swing completely and just really struggled and just, you know, ended up shooting in the mid eighties. Which, you know, it's not it's obviously disappointing that I didn't give a good account of myself. Uh but you know, it got to a point on the back nine where you were just not wanting to get in their way because they were obviously having a great chance of qualifying. Uh so I was just quickly putting out and getting getting out of the way and stuff like that. But you know, even though I've not done myself justice, I've not played, obviously that's the highest score I've shot in a long time, but it was still an incredible experience to do it and be completely out of your comfort zone. Uh, you know, the sort of truth is that my game kind of fell apart really under the utmost of pressure. Uh, but I don't regret doing it because, you know, just that experience of playing with those two you know, in front of quite a few people watching. Uh, it, you know, it was, it was, you know, well worth doing. And, you know, for that, I don't regret it. I'm just a bit disappointed that I didn't play like I can play. But uh, whether I'm willing to put myself through it again, I don't know. I'll have to have a long, hard think about that. But uh, it's been great to come. It's been great to have two days with my brother. My brother was amazing. He was just like, you know, trying to keep me going and, you know, and like that wasn't easy because you know I was really struggling uh, but no that's it all done and dusted so the moral of it is didn't end up anything like I was hoping but still a fantastic experience